Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dan Harper Realtors. Well, today I'm at the wonderful master plan community of Homestead in Shirts, Texas, located just off I-35 in between Shirts and New Braunfels, Texas. The house behind me is a Pulte built home. It was built in just 2019, and it's 1723 square feet to three bedroom, two bath. Let's go check it out. Now, 1,723 square feet, it's not the biggest house, but I do like this community. Um, in this section of Homestead, you have both Pulte Homes and Castle Rock. I always want to say White Castle, but it is Castle Rock. The Amenity Center, which I have done an Amenity Center tour for this community. So uh, let me try to put that right up on top there. And so if you want to see that, the amenity center is just at the bottom of this road. So right around the corner is the big pool, playground area, and all that good stuff. Looks like we got some storms that might be coming in tonight. Anyways, uh, this community is expanding. They will eventually have their own elementary school in the Shirt Cibolo ISD uh, area. But um, Chess Bar and Perry are dramatically expanding this community. You've got some great builders that are going to be a much higher price point than what this uh, builder's price point was. All right, let's head on inside and check out this beautiful home. All right, I do like the entryway. Uh, Pulte is kind of, I wouldn't put them at uh, anywhere near the top tier builders in the community because, yeah, when you're talking about Perry and Chess Bar, uh, Scott Felder also builds in this community. They're all going to be higher tier builders in my mind than Pulte. But also, if price is what you're driving for, they're currently asking $355 for this house as of late May 2022. You got the mud room coming in right there. Here's your utility room with a sink. It does have a two car garage. I don't know what's going on with these cabinets. Looks or looks like shelving, but there is a water softener already built, I mean, with this house. So that's always nice to have. All right, let's go check out these front rooms. We do have a full bath up front, tower, shower, tub combination. Sorry, it's been a long day. I just did another video on the other side of town for the same out-of-state clients who are interested in this. So I kind of rushed over to do this one. Um, a little bit taller ceilings. Looks like they're nine foot ceilings. Uh, yeah, that's a nine foot ceiling. I live in eight foot ceiling house, so, but not the biggest room. But this isn't a very big house. It's an okay size room, but I wouldn't say it's a large room. You do have a little bit bigger room over on this side. Oh, let's go check out the closet space. A little bit, I mean, decent sized closet in there. Well, maybe they're about the same size. Yeah, same size room. All right, let's check out the main living space. This is a gas community, so that's really nice. They do have Whirlpool appliance, another four burner with a little griddle set up, microwave, enough cabinet space. It does have my dreaded 50-50 stainless steel sink. Y'all know I'm not a fan of that because you can't put a skillet in it. But it does have a filtered water spigot there, so that's kind of nice. Your typical corner pantry. Spot for your refrigerator. Alright, and this because, like I said, smaller house, this would be where your breakfast table would be, kind of right underneath where those lights are. If you want to put pendant lights there, you could do that and just have your breakfast table there. Uh, something I wanted to point out 
And I've already called the listing agent on it. It's tough to tell the lights, but there is something going on with this flooring. So you can see it there in the light where the flooring is literally bowed up, kind of right off in the middle here. I called the listing agent. He's getting a hold of the seller to find out what's going on. And that sometimes happens if they've installed the floor wrong and they didn't leave room underneath these things just in case this, there's any type of uh, expansion with this. But I don't know, I've never seen uh, a laminate flooring do this. But it's also not the end of the world uh, because getting flooring replaced like this it's really not that expensive in the grand scheme of things. And if they do have to pull it all the way up, well, you might get a chance to pick out your own flooring. That's nice. All right, let's check out the back patio area. The sun is gonna be setting back off this direction. So if you, during a normal cocktail hour time, you will not have sun on here. It's a pretty cool view of what's going on, but there will be houses eventually on this cul-de-sac area. But I really do like this community. It's a great location, great builders, and the amenities, like I mentioned before, really nice. Hopefully you're watching my video of it. We're getting ready to. There is a gas outlet outside here in case you wanted to do that and plumb for water that's awesome because if you did do your whole outdoor kitchen space you can then have uh, a wet bar kind of nice the refrigerator I mean not refrigerator uh, the air conditioner is way over on the side there very handy so it's not making a lot of noise when you're out here This looks like good hardy plank on the back area. Definitely need some touch-ups on this door. See some other stuff scraped up. An okay size master bedroom. Wouldn't say big, but it does have this little bump out with decent sized windows. You can tell this is where they had the bed. All right, let's go check out this bathroom. All right, right off the bat, you can see we got his and her vanities because there's the makeup stool. You do have a good sized shower with a little step over to get into it, but it comes with a shelf. Oh, I didn't turn that light on. You've got your garden tub with your frosted window. Water closet. And then the master bedroom closet. I wouldn't say this is a big one. For all your electricals and uh, modem and stuff yeah that that was it for the closet because this is a linen closet yeah Sorry, if it's a little dark in here, I didn't get all the lights turned on. And like I said, clouds are darkening up. Okay, it looks like we have a storm coming. All right, that's gonna do it for tour of this Pulte home in the Homestead community. I absolutely love this community. The house member is 1,726 square feet. If you got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And if you're looking for a real estate agent in the greater San Antonio area, feel free to click that uh, link to my calendar, uh, calendar 
in the description box. I'll be happy to help. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and remember guys, I'm here to help you. Don't go through this process alone. Use a realtor. It's also really useful to help use a realtor on a buying process. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.